Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on any fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers did not subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Let me know how can I improve and win your subscription. In today's session, I will be talking about the Microsoft's new update, which is Cartoon People. Trust me, this is going to be so much fun. Microsoft is constantly adding new types of rich media to enhance office creations, bring stories and presentations to life. Cartoon People in Office is the latest addition to the premium content library. This feature is so much easy and fun to use. These illustrations are a fun way to create artwork, tell stories using a diverse set of characters and scenes. You can actually put together various scenes by customizing or by selecting from a huge variety of pre-made scenes in premium content library of Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Excel. So are you ready to try out the new feature of Microsoft? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my Microsoft PowerPoint. If you are Office 365 and a Windows user, you can use this feature in your PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and Outlook. But as you know, PowerPoint is my favorite, so I'm gonna use this PowerPoint slide to demonstrate. So here I am on a blank PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna click on Insert, and I'm going to go all the way to my icons, and here I have my cartoon people. So let's quickly go ahead and see how many tabs we have so you have complete characters here as you can see have a wide diversity and if you don't care about a complete character you even have half characters maybe you want to have a quick poster or maybe insert this in your presentations or your webinars you can actually customize the heads of these characters based on your nationality and maybe you don't like a hairstyle that day you have different faces to express your expressions you have the upper body Again, you can customize all of this. You have a complete full body without a head. Pick anything and pick or choose the head that you want. You have accessories too. You have decorations. Maybe you wanna create a scene and use any of these or all of these. And you also have pre-made scenes for your classes, for your presentations. So let me go ahead and pick a scene from here because we are here right now. You know what, I'm going to pick a scene with a window so I can show you how you can customize it. So I'm going to click on, let's just say this one and I'm going to click insert. And once my scene has been inserted, let me minimize the view just a little bit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go back to my insert tab. I'm going to click on my icons and here I'm going to click on cartoon people and I'm going to pick a character. Let's see. Do I want to customize it? Maybe I do, but for now I am going to pick this teacher right here because probably the hair matches mine and I'm going to click insert. I'm assuming she's an educator. I'm going to expand just a little bit. I'm going to close the design ideas. And here is where you can get to customize your complete scene. But before I do that, I'm going to start with customizing my background. I'm going to click format. I'm going to fill gradient, but you know what? Before I do that, let me undo this and let me see if design ideas has any ideas for me. Da, 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 da. No, I don't like that. I'm going to click on more. Not that either. Click on more ideas. No. You know what? Let me take off the teacher really quick and see if it can give me some ideas. Da, da, da. Click on more ideas. Yeah, I think I like the shading part. Now, once this is done, I'm going to bring back the educator. Sometimes you have to play with your design ideas. I don't know how the AI feature works. So I have deleted the teacher character and clicked on design ideas and I got that shaded part. And I'm going to go back and insert the character. There you go. I'm going to expand this character a little bit. And now I'm going to close the design ideas. Now I want to format my background. And here I am going to make it a gradient. No, not that. Let me make it a linear. I don't like linear either. I played around with my grading and this is the feature that I like. I think I like this. So as you can see, when I click on the scene, the whole scene moves by itself. 
but you can always right click and change this or convert this into a shape and now you have a freedom to move each and every object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand the window because i like my classroom to be nice and bright i'm going to expand these books i'm going to move them all the way to the top i'm going to click on these two flowers flower pots i'm guessing and i'm going to expand them as well so now that I have enlarged everything and made them or placed them in the places that I want, now I'm going to go ahead and customize each and every object in this scene. First, I'm going to start with the teacher or the educator. I'm going to right click and convert this to a shape so I can have complete control on coloring her face or giving her the skin tone that I want, changing the color of her jacket, her skirt, her dress and her shoes. So let me go start with the blouse here and I am going to pick let me just say uh, this color yeah a blue color and then I'm going to pick the color of her skirt as uh, let me pick a nice yeah or maybe if you want to change this to a gradient you can always go ahead and click on gradient and pick and choose the color that you want yeah I think that gradient is good or you can right click format shape and you can choose different gradients too and as you can see I'm going to right click and make sure it matches yeah no, I think I don't think a teacher would appreciate that. All right, so let me just close that. And yeah, that gradient part is okay for me. I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on her shirt. Here I'm customizing each and every uh, part of the teacher. I'm going to click on shape. That's good enough. Now I'm going to click on the face and customize the skin tone. I'm just going to make it to that's good. Click on... So let me let me zoom in here so you all can see what I'm doing. Yep, let me click on the neck part. Oops. Yep. And customize that as well. And as you can see, the hands and legs have been customized too. I'm going to click on the shoes. And make them red. Why not? There you go. Let me minimize this again so you can see what's going on here. So once that I customize the teacher, I'm thinking I want to dress up the educator. The blazer looks really plain for me. So I'm going to go back here, right click, and I'm going to click on format shape. And here in the fill part, I'm going to click on picture and texture. And I am going to insert a picture from my online pictures. And here I'm going to type in for some Indian patterns i'm gonna click enter and i'm going to pick this pattern here it looks really nice actually i can pick any of these but i want to keep it blue i'm going to click on this pattern and i'm going to click insert and voila i customized the teacher's blazer just like that i'm going to keep it to that color and shape i'm going to minimize so you can see what just happened now I can go back and click on each object and customize each object. But because this is a window, I want to make sure the students are looking into bright sunlight or a beach or kids playing. So I'm going to right click, click on the object first. Oh, not just the whole object because I want it to fill up everything. I'm going to right click and click on fill here. So you can actually fill it with any color. So let me uncheck this one, click the entire object. I click on fill if I can right click when I click fill I can pick as you can see I can fill everything here but that's not the whole point here I want to make sure I fill this window with a nice picture so I'm going to click on picture again I'm going to my online pictures and here I'm going to click kids playing because if you're in a classroom you might want to see kids playing through your window and I like yeah, these kids are very happy. I'm going to pick them and I'm going to click insert. And as you can see, this is completely, uh, the window has been filled, but it doesn't look like a window here. So I'm going to go back to my shape outline. I'm going to click on outline and I'm going to increase the weight. So this kind of looks like a window. There you go. And I'm going to right click format picture. I'm going to click on the picture options here. And I'm going to change the transparency because it's too bright. I don't think you can see that bright when you're uh, viewing through a window. 
that's good enough. Now that looks like a view from the window. And here you can customize each and every object. So while we are here, I want to show you when I click on the chair and click fill, as you can see, the whole chair kind of fills up. I'm going to undo this. I'm going to go closer into the chair and I'm going to click on it and click again. So it can give me the each object here. I'm going to fill this with yeah, that color and I'm going to right click and make it a gradient format shape and I wanted a gradient. Now these colors definitely, but I'm going to change the colors. Yeah, I think I like the chair that way. And then I'm going to click on each and every part of the chair and customize it. You don't have to, but I'm just showing you how you can customize each and every object inside cartoon people here. That's good. And let me go back and this part is left out. So as you can see, I've, this, this whole scene is coming to life as I start customizing it. Now let me quickly pause here, take a break, customize everything and then come right back. So I took my time to customize everything and this is how it looks. Again, this is so much fun if you're teaching elementary kids or even middle school, maybe even higher education. I randomly put one or two scenes in my announcements in Canvas so students can see how customized the announcements are for them. The options are limitless. You can create animations. So let me quickly go ahead and show you what I did here. So this is a quick scene that I created. And if you click on animations here, animation pane, I'm going to go ahead and quickly animate all of this. And as you can see, you can have this as a slideshow. You can record your voice and create mini stories for your students as well. And as you can see, the lizard is going all the way up there. And here I have another scene. This is a different classroom atmosphere. This is another classroom scene with teacher with a different uh, costume or dress again. And here is something that we created together. So this is a cool and fun way of bringing your presentations or even customizing your presentations and bringing them to life. Here's a quick tip to change the aspect of your cartoon illustration. Right click, change it or convert it to shape. Right click again and click on group and make sure you ungroup. That way you have complete freedom on working with each and every object of that illustration. To demonstrate, I'm going to click and double click on the teacher's blazer and I can fill it with the color by clicking. You know what? Let me right click clicking on fill in here. I can fill any color that I want. I can pick red. I can pick yellow. I can pick green, blue, any color that you want. I'm going to pick blue for now. And if you don't like this, let's go back to fill again and click on gradient and you can fill it with different gradients. As you can see, you can fill it with textures. There you go. You can customize the blazer with textures or you can fill them with pictures. I'm going to click on online picture, click on flowers. Why not? And I'm going to pick a rose. Why not? And I'm going to click insert. And as you can see, now I've customized the teacher's blazer. And if you don't like the expression, I'm going to double click on the expression. I'm going to move the expression away. I'm going to go back to insert icons, cartoon people. I'm going to click on faces where I have all the expressions. And let me see what am I picking? Uh, yeah, maybe that face. That's okay. I'm going to click insert and I'm going to pull the face and all the way plug it right here. So now the teacher is surprised, confused. You can even customize the skin tone of the educator depending on your personal preference. I'm going to go back here and as you can see, I can light, dark to whatever uh, customizations you want. Let's just say that the characters that they have did not fit your requirement. You can actually mix and match all the characters, heads, facial expressions, bodies and accessories. Let's try one out. I'm going to click on insert, click on icons here. I'm going to click on cartoon people and I am going to pick the head. I'm going to click on heads first and I'm going to pick there are too many options here. Uh, this head. And I'm going to click on faces and I am going to click this face and I'm going to click on full body here and I am going to pick. Uh, I don't know which body I'm picking. Da, 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 da. Let's see too many options here. OK, this body. OK, and I'm going to click insert. And now once I have this again, I'm going to close design ideas. 
I'm going to go ahead, move the face, bring the head right above the body, bring back the face here. And you can always customize them with the accessories. I'm going to click on icons here. Cartoon people. What accessories do I have? Let me pick some cool glasses. And I'm going to click insert, bring them back. Close design ideas. And there you have a whole new character that would fit your requirements. A fun way to use this in classrooms is to create a scene for your classroom and ask your students to customize it. You can see amazing things coming through. Trust me, elementary students would love to do something like this. This kind of reminds me of the stress relieving coloring books because I had so much fun customizing all the objects, creating the colors. So if I enjoyed it, I'm pretty sure your students will too. But please keep in mind, you must be an Office or Microsoft 365 subscriber to access the full library of premium content. While free users of Office on the web will be able to access, but not all the icons. Unfortunately, Office 2016 and Office 2019 do not have access to this feature. This feature is available in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel for Windows users, PowerPoint, Word, Excel for Mac and iOS. And if your Office on the web, this is only available in your PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learn how to create fun cartoon characters, customize them and create scenes for your classrooms, presentations and bring them to life. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing and educators or presenters might benefit from this, do not forget to share this. We do have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas and Tech technology playlist. Do not forget to check them out and please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you like about this cartoon people. Did you ever use it in your classrooms? Or are you going to? Let me know all your thoughts. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.